It's much easier to lead when things are going really well, but a true measure of a leader is how they lead, make decisions, and subsequently take actions in times of crisis. Leaders make many decisions every day, and their success depends on how they think and the quality of their decisions. But during crisis, decisions tend to be significant, and they have the power to impact people's lives and reshape the very trajectory of an organization. The stakes are high, and once they're made, they can often not be unmade. This fact makes quick and effective decision-making key in turbulent times. Let's start look at what keeps people from making good and high-quality decisions. One, too rushed. In previous session, we talked about, you know, really taking a moment to figure out what's happening before you rush in and make decisions that you might regret. Two, answering the wrong questions. We have also talked about this point, how important it is to ask many questions in order to broaden your understanding of the issues and also identify the good questions that can lead you to the good solutions. Three, too much information. In times of crisis, we tend to be bombarded with information from left and right, and we have to make sense out of it. Using constraints to narrow down the scope and gaining focus and direction, it's a good idea, and we've talked about it in previous sessions. Four, no skill or expertise in the area where the issue is. In this case, it's really important and key to bring in different perspectives, involve people with different backgrounds and expertise. Five, poor or no process. At this point, you will have to try out new techniques in order to organize your thinking and provide you yourself with the confidence you need to make those good decisions. There are many good decision-making tools and techniques out there, but today, I would like to introduce you to a powerful, creative, and practical technique called the six thinking hats. This technique helps you move outside of your usual thinking style and to look at things from a number of different perspectives, but only one at a time in order to avoid confusion. The first one is the white hat. The white hat is all about information. It's all about how much information do we have? How much information would we need if we take the, this decision? So it's really about getting clarity around what is needed, what kind of data and facts that are needed in order to make that decision successful. The black hat is also called the safety or judgment hat. Here it's all about identifying risks, difficulties, and potential problems. Why would the decision not work? What kind of difficulties will we be facing? The yellow hat. The yellow hat is the optimistic hat. It's all about identifying all the benefits and values and why something may actually work. The green hat. The green hat is the creative thinking hat. It's all about exploring new ideas, seeking alternatives and possibilities, and generating new concepts. The red hat. The red hat is the feeling hat. It's all about intuition and gut distings. This one doesn't have to be justified. It's really about how we feel about the decision at that given moment. And finally, the blue hat. This hat is called the control hat. It's all about managing processes, next steps, and action plans. You can do this exercise all alone and organize your thinking around a decision that you want to make, or you can do it with your team using the strength of each of your team members and leverage people's natural tendencies in order to help you and give you input in your thinking process. Now I'll summarize our final session. One, identify and overcome barriers to your decision making. Two, Structure your thoughts and aim to change your perspective. Three, try a technique like the six thinking hats. This will allow you to gain the confidence you need to make good decisions at speed. You finished the three sessions, the highest of five to you. 
you've learned about techniques to embrace innovative thinking and maximizing creativity in yourself and your teams. If you have any questions or comments, please contact me over LinkedIn or contact IMD to explore potential collaborations in the near future. I suspect that many people will look back at this turbulent time and say it was a time when things changed in their lives. I hope for the better. Stay safe, take care of others, and may your choices reflect only your hopes and not your fears.